So, Z, listen to me, okay? This is your conscience calling. Now, listen closely. Don't do it, all right? Just don't. No, Susie, th that is your brother's favorite toy. No, no, don't, don't, don't flush it. Great. You can give me a lifetime on Earth. But of course, I can't control what you do with it. But I imagine you'll go straight down there and sweep that delicate young flower off her feet. Okay. All right, well, then what would this cost me? We'll talk about that when you've made up your mind. <laughs> yeah, except I can read the fine print, and it says you want my soul. I know Allison needs me, but I can't. I can't, 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 I can't. Please, Rebecca. I know that you're mad at me for closing down the shop while Kevin tests the candles, but I didn't know what else to do. I want to make things right for the both of us, but I'm not... I'm not really sure how to do that. Please come out and talk to me. Okay, because I I just feel so alone and I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Please come out and talk to me. Jamal. Hey. Jamal. Wake up, man. Yo. Jack, what's going on? No, you tell me. You've been out for a while. I've been trying to wake you up. You all right? Oh. Oh. Oh, something's wrong here, man. Look, Where's Ellie? She wasn't here when I got here. Oh. She must have bailed when you fell asleep. What's oh, going is, on here? This is not me sleep, man. This is more like me drugged or something. Oh, my God. You. That. What? A, ca a candle? I wasn't here last night. She, God, she drugged me with that thing, no, Jack. All right, calm down, all right? Allison wouldn't oh. drug you. No, I never would have thought so either, but she hasn't exactly been acting herself lately, now has she? Wait, hey, hold on, hold on one second. Where are you going? What do you think? Somebody's got to stop all this before something really bad goes down. I saw your car in the driveway. I know you're home. What are you doing out there? Uh, you know, something crazy, I'm sure. Uh, so is this how it's going to be? You made the choice, Jack. You chose sweet, innocent Allison over crazy, paranoid Libby. OK. I came to apologize. What? I was wrong. I was wrong about a lot of things. And you had every right to be upset. But Livy, there is something strange about those candles. Okay, Jamal tried to talk to Allison the other night, and one of those candles basically knocked him out for hours. And that camera, there is definitely something strange going on with that camera. Why? Did something else happen? Uh, you saw Rebecca again, didn't you? Well. I don't know if it's an optical illusion or it's some trick or what. 
But yeah, she disappeared again. Okay, what happened before she disappeared? Right, let's, let's sit down. I went to the, uh, I went to the barn the other night when no one was there. And I took some pictures. And when I developed them, Rebecca was standing outside the candle shop. Except it was Rebecca's from over half a century ago. Oh, my God. So now you know what I'm talking about. But there's more I want to find out. Yeah, like what? Well, you know, those old plates. I'm basically out of them, the ones that came with the camera. So I ordered some from this antique camera website. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when I get these, that maybe, maybe that'll explain all this. And if Rebecca still shows up in the pictures, then you'll know it's serious. Oh, no, I do know it's serious. So is that what you came over to tell me? I came over to tell you I'm sorry for calling you crazy. And you had every right to feel the way you feel. And it's basically tripping me out, too. I don't think there's anything worse you could have said to me. Hey, sweetie, I know. And I'm sorry. I just don't want us to fight anymore. I miss you so much. And I want you to come home with me. I don't want to be apart from you. No matter what's going on, we have to be together. Olivia, I love you more than anything. I love you too, Jack. Jamal. You want to tell me what you did with Allison? Because whoever you are, you're not the Allison I know. Well, you kidnapped me. So that makes it okay for you to drug me with some crazy Jamal, candle? No, I didn't drug you. What? Is that I why didn't... I put a Sleeping Beauty on all night long without being able to wake up? Well, I just happened to light a candle so that you could relax a little bit. A little bit? Relax a little bit? Allison, I was out all night long. Well, the candles only enhance what you're already feeling. Uh, you, you have no idea what you're dealing with here, Allison. You don't. That is you not don't. true. Yes, I do. And pretty soon, everyone else will find out that there's nothing wrong with my candles or with what I'm doing. What are, you, what are you talking about? Kevin came by earlier to get some candles, and he's going to have them analyzed. And do you want to know what he's going to find? Nothing. Well, you know what? Zilcho. Maybe there's some things in there that you don't know about. No, that's impossible. OK, I've already started making oh the gosh. candles myself. And I told you. There is nothing dangerous about my candles or Rebecca's candles. I've already told you that, and you won't Allison. listen to me. None of you will. The only thing that maybe you're going to find in there is maybe uh, some baby's breath or some dragon's blood or angel. Actually, you know, she doesn't sound like a witch. You know that? Well, what's the matter with magic? I've had magic in my life, and it's wonderful. What? And now what I have a about? gift. You... I have a gift, and I can open up people's hearts. She showed me how Allie, to use it. On. Rebecca told me that I have a gift. So you were serious. You think that she talks to you. You think that lady in that picture talks back to you. 